Today I'm going to show you how to ward off vampires from your home and garden. Today we are harvesting just a little bit of garlic and the potatoes that I grew as an experiment in this little man's empty dog food bag. Here's a look at the potatoes I grew in Supervisor's dog food bags. And he just decided he wants to do his own harvest in this video. We were gonna do raspberry harvesting today, but Supervisor decided he needed to have a snack and do his own harvest. Looks like he's getting the really plump ones. He's going for the good stuff. He doesn't mess around with his harvest time. So let's dig right into this bag that used to be for dog food and is now a potato planter. This bag is a 22 pound bag and let's see what grew from it. Oh, pulled out a plant. We've got a few plants in here. The tiniest little bulb. Let's hope there's more than that in this bag. Okay, now the real potatoes are coming out. Here's potato number one. Potato number two. Potato number potato number four and we are going to do this in the easiest way possible now that the greens are removed we are going to dump this bag and see what comes out not as easy as it looks dump the bag once it's rooted. I thought I could dump it upside down and the potatoes would just come out. Potatoes are coming out, but a lot of the soil is staying in. So we're going to uh, have to do a little hand removal. We do have potatoes in here. Some beautiful potatoes have grown and actually quite a few. Supervisor has arrived to check out my potato harvest from his dog food bag. He's intrigued by the whole process. Well, these are really interesting results. I'm going to give you a closer look now. From bag number one, this is the dirt that came out. And this is the potato harvest. Really not that many. They're lovely potatoes, but I found when I was harvesting these that they were very close to the surface. So I'm really curious as to why that is. Why didn't more develop underneath? I did top them up with soil two or three times, so I'm not sure why there aren't more. There was lots of space in the bag, but I'm happy with this, but I expected a little bit more. So let's check out bag number two. So here is bag number two from my potato growing experiment. Couple of very baby potatoes. A few more super baby tomato potatoes. Lots of these little baby 
potato. Hey, 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 don't eat potatoes, Zipper. Don't eat raw potatoes. Dogs don't eat raw potatoes, Lovey. Okay, let's dig into this pile what is in here. We've got worm action happening in the soil that I just removed from the dog food bag. And I'd like to know what's going on here. Are, is this how worms mate? Are they sleeping? I have a feeling they're mating. I don't know. If you know about worm behavior and mating, are they asexual? I don't really know. Or do they mate and they're asexual? Let me know in the comments what you think of this worm behavior. I'm fascinated. This is either two worms or three worms. And they're very intertwined. Let me know down below because I would love to know what's going on here. A little bit of animal biology for you. Did not expect that when I emptied this bag of soil that this is what would be going on. So back to the searching for potatoes quest. I feel like I'm digging for treasure in this pile. And kind of similar to bag number one, I'm noticing that most of the potatoes seem to have been at the beginning. Here's a potato of, or what would have been the top of the bag. And once again, I'm not entirely sure why that is. Here's another potato. That one's not bad size. And a, another potato. That's not a bad potato here. So here is my final harvest from dog food bag number two. Not that many and a lot of them are pretty tiny. I'm gonna put the two harvests together and show you what they, that looks like. But in general, it's a pretty small harvest. I definitely expected more. Oh boy, hey, hey, hey. This little guy just stole a potato and is trying to eat it. I don't think dogs are supposed to eat raw potato as far as I know. I don't think that's good for them. So I am going to take it away. Zipper, that was not appropriate, sir. You do not eat raw potato. That is a no. Not that many potatoes from the two dog food bags combined. There are, there's my resulting piles of soil. We are going to reincorporate. I'm going to dig these back into the vegetable garden shortly. I've got my trusty shovel. Last season when I harvested garlic, I just pulled the cloves out by hand, but you certainly can do. But if you happen to have a shovel that is long and narrow, that is supposed to be more ideal for pulling out garlic than just yanking them out of the ground. So I recommend giving that a try. So let's see how these cloves fared through the growing season. Here is the first clove of garlic, sort of medium sized, I would say. Not bad for clove number one.
pretty hefty size clove of garlic. There's the, oh, it smells so good. There's some red in this one. These are mixed varieties that I got at the end of the fall at a local garden center. So I don't know what varieties they are, but let me tell you, this one is very aromatic. It smells absolutely delicious, this garlic. So I can't wait to see what else I pull out of the ground. Or that we dig out of the ground. This shovel is like, oh my God, I don't even know how to describe it. It goes so far into the ground. We've got two here. This one is a pretty good size clove of garlic right here. This one's kind of medium sized. It's got a funky thing going on. Check this out. It's almost got a baby glow. It almost has a baby clove of garlic right here coming out of the main part of the garlic. I don't know if the camera will focus. That is bizarre. Very cool and very weird. I love how nature does funny things sometimes. Oh, I'm pulling out my kale at the same time. Ooh, that is one nice. <clears throat> this is one nice clove of garlic right here. Let's see if I can dust off the dirt a little. Very good size, very well formed. That is beautiful garlic. Overall, I must say these cloves are really impressing me. I wasn't super enthusiastic when I saw the plants this season. They didn't look as good as last year, but these cloves, oh my God, the smell and the size could not be happier. These are amazing cloves of garlic. We are in a different section of the garden now and we're gonna pull out the garlic right here. This is what came back from last season, the bulbs that... <coughs> Ooh, the bulbs that accidentally were left in the ground when I pulled them out and they didn't come out. So let's see what grew from last season. Hmm, not bad. A little smaller than my other batch, but it's decent. Not a bad bonus right here. So here is my final garlic harvest all laid out. There are actually 25 heads of garlic here with a variety of different sizes colors, varieties, definitely some good sized cloves. And this is what I was talking about, about the baby garlics. This is in a couple of them, up the stem from the main bulb. Very interesting discovery. And here we go. This was my second season ever growing garlic and I am super excited with the results. just got a whiff of something super delicious, super juicy. You know what my next meal is going to be? With a kill. Let's go. Oh my God, I cannot believe he's got a secret weapon. The garlic. Oh, fooey.
right here is the number one most effective strategy for warding off vampires from both your home and your garden. We are going to cure the garlic for two to three weeks, possibly longer. Wishing you an abundant harvest this summer and fall. And we'll see you very soon in another section of the garden. Bye for now.